rolling up the jib on the Victory is easier done with two people, but sometimes two people aren't available and you have to do it by yourself. The easy way to do it after the sail is lowered is to stretch the sail such that the clue is back by the mast and uh, then when you get the pole out the uh, roller tube and move it up on deck so you can have it ready. The whole aim of this of course is to keep it off of the dock and on the boat while you're working with it. it does less damage to the sail. Then when you get up the front again after you get the tube up you can unhank the sail but don't bunch it up just unhank it and uh, then we will uh, what we're going to do is roll it onto the jib to the, the jib onto the pole I'm going to roll it down now yeah, we'll leave the uh, the tack fitting connected for the while being then make it easy to roll we're going to roll it down the leech so you take the fold the sail down as best you can just a loose fold so that the leech is aligned up as you roll that way the leech is rolls up on itself but the luff with all of the hanks on it rolls down in a hel sort of a helical uh, form down the roller and you don't bunch up the uh, the uh, shackles under the sail you get it all just roughly as situated then you take the uh, uh, roll don't drop it in the bay it might not float and then uh, you hook the uh, <coughs> head of the sail the hank at the head of the sail onto a loop of line that's attached at the top at the uh, aft end of the roller and once that's attached we'll just start rolling it up by uh, lifting up the uh, pole and just start rolling and straightening the sail as you go you can get from a third to a half of the sail rolled up this way before it gets a little too heavy to handle back on the end when it comes to that point where it's too hard to hold the thing up just transfer it to your lap continue to straighten the sails as you go and roll it up it's a loose roll it doesn't have to be tight at this point just to, the main thing is to keep the wrinkles to a minimum uh, to protect the sail from uh, from being out of shape when you want to sail with it. Once you get it all rolled to that point, go up to the front, pick up the pole, and straighten the sails out. Stretch it further so that it's more in line. And then when you get it stretched, start rotating the tube. What this will do is tighten up the roll on the tube as you go. Roll right down the tube to the tack. And then you can disconnect the tack and uh, put the sail cover on. The sail cover is usually all wadded up so straighten it out kind of fold it back and forth in the accordion fold. Um, this is just to make it easier to put on the tube uh, instead of getting it all twisted up and have to manhandle it. Then you straddle the tube and sail pick it up and hold it between your knees and he's got to sat straighten out that sack again hold it between your knees and take the open end of the sack and slip it over the end like that then you just pull it back move back a little bit so you can pour more of it on pull it on to the uh, jib then you can pull it further back as you go then you may have to go back to the cockpit or I do anyway and then reach forward to pull the, sail, the rest of the uh, cover over the sail and then uh, when you get the cover over the sail just uh, pull it back and store it in the cuddy where it belongs that's easily done uh, we haven't tied up the sheets yet because they may be wet but at any rate if you make a wad out of them at this point they're a heavy weight on the end of the tube that you don't need while you're handling it so after you're done then you take the sheets and and uh, tie them up you can uh, usually leave them coiled next to the uh, next to the sail